Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Taurus for the April full moon and uh, the energies that could affect some of you around that time or even going into May. Um, so, Please keep in mind, it is general. It will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. So let's begin. Okay, so um, I feel I feel that this person over here, um, this King of Rods, and, and that it could be a fire sign, but it's general reading. There's so many of you watching. It could be any sign. I think he wants to come back in. Okay, so this is somebody you've had a relationship with and you're like, whoa, wait a minute here. <laughs> you know, we need to talk. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of fears, uh, a lot of anxieties with regards to this person or even with regards to what they might be telling you. Um, Queen of Cups in reverse uh, suggests that you might be feeling unhappy or unfulfilled. Um, I feel this person comes back because they sit above this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Empress over here. Um, it could be they're coming back and they want another start. Okay. Um, but again, this could bring you burden somehow. It could be that you're already in a relationship with um, with the Empress being there and uh, this card here of the lovers because in this deck it, it speaks to a very long-term connection. So um, possibly for some of you, you're already in a relationship and if I look up here, you might have to sacrifice one for the other. So, you know, it could be a question because we have the decision here that you have to make, the wheel standing still. Um, you may have to decide which way you want to go, who you want to sacrifice, possibly. Um, your guard is up with this person. You see uh, here you have the Ace of Swords and you have your hand out and it's like, whoa, just a minute. And you're very defensive, okay? You've been hurt by this person before, obviously. The way you're clinging to that sword and you've got it over your heart. And it's like, um, you, in a sense, in a way, you're kind of afraid of the connection uh, because it, it could bring you a lot of burdens, especially if you are already in a relationship and this person is, uh, they're almost terrified, okay? Um, but obviously you have feelings for this person. And so it's like, hmm, should I, shouldn't I? Because um, here you are looking over at the damage that they caused already for you in the past. And this was an, uh, a very challenging relationship for you. And so this is sitting beneath this uh, Eight of Swords. And over here, this Eight of Pentacles, it's like, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? Do I want to put effort into this, work into this? Hmm. Um, this person could be coming back with an apology with this card being here, but this could also be you fishing for more information. It could have been an emotional breakup, uh, empty words, empty promises with regards to this person in the, ba in the past because Knight of Cups is in the reverse and the Page of Cups is in the reverse. And maybe you see that because this is a card of uh, somebody, um, they're reading the hieroglyphics on this tombstone. And it's like being able to read the writing on the wall and maybe you don't foresee that this would go for the long haul because death rides beneath it. Um, so you're unsure. There's a decision you need to make. Now, um, here we have the chalice, okay? So the chalice is, um, it's about uh, fulfillment. So um, this person uh, obviously uh, fulfills you emotionally. And maybe you, if you're in, already in a relationship, um, you don't have that at home, perhaps. 
and it's coming with the Caduceus, um, which is a card of uh, receiving news from afar, and you you uh, you are getting that from that person, some sort of message, or are they actually going to reappear. Um, the Caduceus is um, is a card of healing. So this person is wanting to come back to heal this relationship. Um, we have the serpent. The serpent can also be uh, a renewal. So they want to renew it. Um, but this snake on a negative, more negative side can be somebody who... Uh, who's very sly and very deceptive and um, they're very good at it so it would go like unnoticed until it was too late so um, this can also come with a warning to beware of somebody's hidden agendas or half half truths okay now the golem uh, represents somebody who is motivated to do your bidding somebody who uh, might put your interest before their own but the serpent is here so uh, we don't know exactly is this person really um, or is he going to tell you uh, the truth I, I feel this is more of somebody who might uh, have some sort of hidden uh, agenda so do be aware of that Can you really believe this person? For those of you who are not in, presently in a relationship, you, you feel very connected to this person, but in the past they just they weren't faithful to you. And you know, it was empty words, empty promises. Um, they may have been in and out of your life. And so there is a decision that you need to make, okay? Um, and you, you're you afraid, okay? You're afraid to take this decision because you're afraid of um, what's going to populate these empty cups. And you're confused. Will you have fulfillment and abundance with this person and long-term commitment or does this person have a hidden agenda and so here you are all tied up not knowing what to do <clears throat> There's a decision to make on the wheel, and the wheel waits for that decision um, to determine your path. This is a it's a very karmic uh, card. Um, it is a, a, a destined event, a fated event that is taking place at this time for you. So um, I thank you for watching and. Many blessings. Bye for now.